know, you can't change the world. You have to start with yourself. I was going down a one-way street going backwards. When I left the house, I had my gun on my hip. I kept a blunt halfway lit. I had my tennis shoes tied tight, just in case I had to jump out the car and run. I didn't trust nobody. For all I knew, one of my homeboys was shooting me in the back of my head. I was always a soldier, but I was a soldier in the wrong army. How did I let my life get this far down the road? You know, how did I forget where my roots was? Growing up, I didn't have a father. We didn't have much money, but my mom always told us, you know, God is going to provide. God is going to provide. My life was pretty stable. But at the same time, I was having to deal with my mom's mental illness. This is my mom. We called her Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory because she looked like a nerd with those glasses on she had. I smelled the gunpowder. Something told me your mom just committed suicide. It hurt it so bad. Mom, why would you leave us? Why would you leave us here? After my mom passed, my sisters and my brother, they didn't really see eye to eye. My stepdad, he ran off. The house eventually was just empty. Lights was off, and it was just me. And I was 16. I would wake up in the morning, and I would go to the living room where we all used to eat breakfast at. I waited. I thought my brother and sisters were going to come back home. Lights was going to be back on one day and it was gonna be just like the day before mama passed. It never happened. It never happened. Yeah. In the city of Flint, Michigan, all is excitement. The older boys and girls are let out of school. All this is a day. The whole town's a bustle. Yes, sirree, there's going to be a parade too. Growing up, you hear how Flint was a thriving city. Flint was the American dream. Flint, Michigan. Okay. My kid got lead poison. Mercedes, my youngest baby. She's three. You have to say to yourself, it's not right. We didn't ask for the lifestyle that we grew up in. GM built the neighborhood and they left. It kind of left my generation feeling like we were cheated because it was gang infested, the whole crack epidemic popped off. And then our houses was condemned or either just non-livable. The city just destroy itself. This is the chief. Achievements by a great nation. Our Father, Our Father, which are in heaven, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth. I tried raising myself for a while. That didn't work. A lot of my friends used to come around, and we still didn't sell drugs or anything like that, but we stole anything we can get our hands on to survive. Scheming and scamming turned into a bad police record, enemies in the streets. My kids had to step over an AK-47 to get to the breakfast table. Unless God did some of the things he did to break the yoke on my life, I definitely was headed toward destruction. I can remember my house getting shot up and the bullet going in my house and hitting the couch. I looked at the bullet, I said, I don't know who did it. The streets is not a joke. If somebody comes shoot at you, you better retaliate or either the next guy's gonna do it or the next guy's gonna do it. 
So I went to go retaliate, and uh, I got one bullet off, and my gun jammed. I took that as a sign. God is protecting me for a reason, to help community. I never killed anyone, but I felt guilty for a lot of things, and I felt like it was blood on my hands. My pastor called me into his office with water, plain old Flint water. He washed my hands, physically washed my hands. He took somebody like pastor to see my soul and see what I really could become. It's time to wake up. It's time to grow up. It's time to take our city back. There's a program that my church has provided. It's a real grassroots perspective of changing Flint. The black male image in Flint is put out to be thuggish, rough, but at the same time, I can guarantee every last one of us around this table just was pursuing happiness, but didn't have the right guidance. We give away water, fruit, lead tests. It's a way to help the community. I'm the supervisor of the Lime Care Service. We're cutting most of the lots that were previously vacant homes that were tore down. What it does is change the whole view of the neighborhood. Just the elder lady come outside in her hat and just fan and just she just want to watch and watch her neighborhood, her neighborhood come back. I love it. If there's one thing that people should know about Flint, is that we've been survivors since day one. The day my mom put that revolver up to her head is what made me fight, 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 and fight. With everything I've been through, my job is to teach, to break the cycle. When you put the man together, the world comes together. Instead of being a part of the problem, we're part of the solution, a permanent part of the solution.